Um, ourselves too. Yep. Okay. Uh, I, I like the striking difference between the um, be beautifully hanging American flag, which uh, is faultless, and the um, door and, and siding being uh, fairly, uh, 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 I wouldn't say obtuse, but uh, not well, well received in terms of the uh, nature of the house. But the people thought enough about the flag to hang a flag that was faultless and uh, added to what is a semblance of their home uh, uh, entryway. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I, I, I appreciate the, the view for the photographer for this one. Next. Okay. Now I'm to stick with alphabetical order for ease of your situation. And so the next one is going to be that one. Okay. okay. It's called my. It's called Big West View. Yeah. Uh, a, a great view in terms of uh, the the uh, nature of the uh, of the mountain that he's the, the horse the the, the, uh, <clears throat> the cloud cover. Um, uh, it's I think well constructed and, and well uh, and disciplined to have enough of the. Uh, horizon uh, to match um, the contours of the mountain and, and the, the clouds uh, being str strongly um, reminiscent of, of, of uh, about something that happened weather-wise. So I think that this is a, a, a strong photo for the photographer that was able to design it, I think, well and um, and make it uh, make it work. Next. Okay. Next one's going to be uh, dinner under moonlight. I almost lost the the dinner part. Um, I would have had this cropped a lot tighter, showing the people bigger. Uh, you, you, he, he could have cropped the moon just above where the the skyline, of the, the highlight of the trees above it, uh, the open space, crop it there with uh, a little less of the trees on the on the top and on the left. I'm sorry, on the right, and just uh, keep the flowers and keep that part. Um, maybe move a little. Crop it even from the left side where the chimney is, and uh, tighten it up quite a bit. And I think it would have been a stronger photo. Next, right. next one. The title is intense. Uh, there you go. Good action shot. Uh, been to a few rodeos in my life, and uh, uh, photographer is in the right position, right move, and right ready to uh, get the um, action in as good a place as uh, he or she could have gotten in terms of uh, getting that barrel, clearing the barrel and getting around it. Excuse me, I may have to get rid of this phone call. Hey, Jay, I'm at a meeting. Can I call you back? Thanks. Bye-bye. So anyhow, so that was a strong photo. I, I like this one a lot. Next. Okay, the next one is is titled Justice is Over. Um, well, the title is, it says Justice is Over, um, maybe over for the, uh, for the truck. Um, in, in, interesting uh, billboard sign in in terms of, in relationship to the to the uh, truck itself. Uh, I'd say that that's uh, um, the, the, the title is a little misjudging in terms of of justice could be for for whatever. Uh, uh, the condition of the truck 
in relationship to the word just plain justice as opposed to something others said. Next. Okay, next one is uh, learning to be a cowboy. Well, um, <laughs> the, 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 him looking back um, at the photographer, uh, he's, he's, his whole brother's paying attention to what's going on, and not, not, and he, he is uh, obviously more interested in what's going on behind him. So, uh, interesting face. I'm sure that he turned his head right away as soon as whoever was losing his interest uh, and, and whoever was behind him. And uh, uh, I think it was a neat little neat photo. You know that he's going to go back and look at the at the cowboys and stuff right away. Next, please. Okay, next one is titled uh, Legendary. Legendary, do it. Um, well, it's an interesting connotation about drinking or, or <laughs> a bit of boozing, and and uh, and it's um, uh, in a way an in interesting uh, aspect to uh, what. Uh, Drinking can do uh, when it has that uh, tombstone and the cross behind it. Uh, an interesting composition. I don't think I would have done much cropping to it. I think that that says all. Next. The okay, next one is Nola Poet. I love the lighting, and at first when I looked at it, I saw the the writing on the back of the of the uh, typewriter, which is unique in itself. And then you had the poetry in a topic uh, box, with wasn't sure what was in that box, uh, if it was posters or something like that. So, yeah, I thought that's an intriguing. An in, in, intriguing viewpoint of of this photo. Uh, the person behind him, uh, uh, didn't really catch my eye until later when I was moving around the photo to see what else was there behind him. But I thought that was an that's an interesting photo of uh, 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 of the person and, and what they were doing. Next, please. Okay, next one is title is titled uh, Portland Head. A uh, well shot scene. Um, daytime, you know, it, it's it, it's it's there. Um, without uh, any real really kind of drama i mean there is some waves coming in but uh hopefully um just having a, a scene as i mean it's not melodramatic so it, it doesn't really symbolize any kind of of um of major water event so it's um I guess a pleasant, a calm, pleasant day being at the coast. And uh, um, I, I like the, it's, I think it's well constructed in terms of the, um, the cropping. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change that at all. Next, please. Okay. Next one is, uh, next one is sunset at the lighthouse. Well, the photographer did a good job of um, waiting for the sun to do what it needed to do. Um, get that um, sunshiny light going uh, past the um, past the building. Uh, 
good exposure in terms of having detail in the house and keeping the sky and and the sun as a um said in one of those uh, movies the sun was bursting through the sky uh uh owl and the pussycat movie so it's uh, si similar to that and i think it's a strong photo next okay next is texas silo Well, I think the clouds, it could have been more dramatic if the clouds had been darker, um, making making the whites a little brighter and the sky a little darker, make it a little more dramatic. Or depending on how dark you want to get it, a lot more dramatic. It's okay, but it could be uh, enhanced uh, quite a bit. Next, please. Okay, the next one is the faces of America. I like the lighting on it. I just don't. Um, I would probably have cropped it uh, to the left side until uh, it started going up the peak because it, um, it, it would have. Um, I would say about a third of the left side of the of the photo uh, with me I have a little bit of a, a ridge there going up the hill and uh, cropping it so that uh, it would uh, force a little more eye to the right and and just seemed to me wandering off a little bit to the to the left next please all right next one is is the road goes on forever and it does I think I would have cropped it from um, about half where that little indentation is between the the middle and the right side. There's a little indentation in there. I would have probably cropped that and um, have a and maybe a little bit to the left too, getting rid of the the white um, stripe thing on the on the left side. And just crop it in, and it would, I think that would make a stronger photo. So right. it'd be about. Uh, Next one. Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Next. Okay. Next one is waiting for a ride in his native land. I'm gonna probably tone it down a little bit, but uh, good expression on the face. Um. Obviously, it looks um, dry and, and hot. And um, again, I would have toned it down just a little bit more, just to get a little more detail in the in the in the shadows. Next, next one is next one is titled. Yosemite logging locomotive. I think it's, this is one of those kind of photos that uh, I can't think of his name right now, who was a, I think he, I think he was in your club. Um, it was did a bunch of engineering or uh, railroad pictures. Don Stevens. Pardon me? Don Stevens, you're thinking of? Yeah, Don Stevens. That looks like his kind of photo. No, it's uh, it's well, well, well produced. Uh, again, I probably would have darkened it just a touch more, a little more, bring a little more whiteness out of the steam. Other than that, I think it's fine photo. Thank you. Next. Okay, that's a July. 
fourth tradition. Okay. It's your drawing. Okay. Am I commenting on each one of them now? Yep. Okay. Um, Mike, can you get titles? I just did. I'm sorry. A July 4th tradition. That's the title. Yeah, that is a July 4th tradition. And, um, you know, half of America probably has a picture of that, something like that there. Um, it's nice to have it over the water and the, and the single fireworks going off with people there. Uh, it's a good, good, good summertime shot. Next. Okay, the next one is American Goldfinch. Uh, that's um, our friend that we just lost. I think she would have loved that. Besides all the other pictures that she that she did, and I think she liked bird photos also. But um, anyhow, um, sorry, <laughs> sorry, we we miss her like we did. Um, Yeah, well, well composed, um, lighting wise. Um, there's really not much that I would think. Uh, um, Audubon Society probably would love this kind of photo, so I'd say it, 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 it's it's um, well done, and someone would be proud to have that published in some kind of publication. Next, please. Hey, next one is. Birthday blast. Again, another fireworks uh, picture that um, it's well composed and, and um, holds the details. You can um, um, basically feel like you you were there, kind of photo, and uh, it, it's it's. Um, equal to you know the other fireworks picture, just a different situation, but still good good photo. Okay, next one is brass duet. Uh, it looks like New Orleans. If that it should be New Orleans, uh, no, I love this photo. It's uh, um, well composed. Uh, lighting is. Pretty neat uh, in terms of the uh, reflection on on the uh, base, and uh, yeah, this is this is a, another keeper. Yeah, I like it. The okay, next one is desolation. Well, Satan in you know capital letters. That's it's what it looks like, and uh, I really I have no uh, concerns about how light or dark it could be. Maybe I would darken it down just a little bit more to give it a little more uh, uh, density to the to um, the black areas, make it a little more dramatic. Next, please. Okay, next one is Dusk Roundup. Again, like one of the earlier ones, well composed, good action, love the silhouette, total silhouette effect. This one is, yeah. One of the keepers. All right. Next one is let's see here. Final over Lambooth Inn. The title somehow over the what? Lambooth Inn. Name of a inn. Lambooth Inn. Okay. Lambooth Inn.
Well, a little hard. I mean, the, the title doesn't really give us much more information than that. Um, probably would have cropped it a little bit to the left and the right. Just, just fill out the um, so that you, you have pretty much the total. Um, coverage of the fireworks and then maybe pull it up a little bit so that you've got just um, a little bit below where the building stops and it's totally dark. I think that would have helped it a bit more. Next, please. Okay, the next one is flag at the farm. I just don't like the composition here. It just doesn't. Uh, if you were going to do something, I would have done it so that, uh, well, first of all, I would have eliminated the, the left side of the, of, the, of the brick wall there. Just keep the flag itself and darken it down so that you have a little more punch to the bright side and let the let the flag go darker than than it is right now. It's sort of um, it, it needs some help. It needs to get that the right side a lot darker, and um, and uh, the left side cropped uh, differently. And then I would say that would strengthen it quite a bit. Next, please. Okay. Next one is golden hour at low. Hi. Let's see where. Oh, there it is. It's gonna be the. There it is. That's not it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, golden hour at low tide. That's right. Okay. Well, again, I would have cropped it a little bit from the left and a little bit from the top. Um, other than that, the lighting is just about perfect. Uh, maybe darken the sky a little bit more, and um, let it go at that. At that. Dark, darkening the sky, giving it a little crop um, left and top, and let it go from there. Next, please. The okay, next one is hot summer days. It doesn't. It doesn't say much for the photo itself because. Um, just giving it a, a, a moniker of, of what's supposedly in there. Uh, I think it would have been a lot better having uh, peach ice cream or something bounding on, on top of that, shooting down on it so you can see that it's melting. Uh, uh, it, 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 it doesn't really have any kind of punch to it uh, could have done or just have peaches coming out of the uh, I mean having uh, peaches coming out of the uh, out of the container itself uh, do something with it uh, this is um, there's really nothing there that really grabs the, the subject matter next please the next one is in remembrance. Let me see here. In remembrance. There you go. Simple, effective, just about perfect in terms of getting the theme across. Next, please. Okay. Next one is entitled Indignity. Um. Yeah, I think that's a good title for it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, speechless with this one because it it says what it says, and uh, I'm I'm surprised that the the store would have something like that. Uh, yeah. 
in, in their in their facility. Next, please. Okay. Next one is Little Bighorn Lost. I uh, tend to have done this differently. Uh, I would have, first of all, uh, cropped it down so that you just had the the darkness of the tree line so that about a third or 25, 20% is, um, is dropped down so that you have more of the grave marking. So it's not, you got, you got this picture cut right in half and it's, that doesn't work. You need to get rid of the top part so that you have a nice dark ridge of, of dark trees and then you have a lot more grave sites. I think it would be a lot more effective there in terms of 50-50 where it is now, make it a third and two thirds. All right. Next. Okay, next one is Miss Rodeo. Cool lady. So she's, uh, um, got, got, got her, uh, horse, uh, and, and gal, 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 galloping, sorry, galloping along, uh, with an enthusiasm, a big smiling face. And, uh, she's, she's ready to, um, go the whole rest of the ride. Uh, good photo. All right. Next one is Monument Valley View. Again, another 50-50, right? Uh, I would have dropped down a third of that sky, so the, the brightness would have, that blue sky would have been gone, and you would have had the, uh, the set of clouds, and then you would have had a lot more of the canyon. Again, you shoot shoot a picture like this. It's um, a snapshot, and you want to make it something more than a snapshot. Next, please. Okay, new and old glory. Um, again, me second guessing the photographer, I would have shot it so that more of the flag would have shown and less of her elbow and, and arm. So the, the hair down here would have cropped, cropped that out and have more of the flag. That would have made it a little more interesting photo. Next, please. Okay, next one is only fence left. Only fence left. Fringe left? Fence. Fence. F-E-N-C. Fence. Fence. Yeah, fence. Yeah. Gotcha. Only gotcha. Okay. Well, it's I see, the, the the rocks look like faces caught me first, or not even thinking about the fence itself. Uh, it's an interesting photo. I uh, I would have probably made a comment about what looked like um, the. Uh, the stone stone hedge kind of thing and that the fence itself really wasn't um i probably would have cropped some of that out i, I don't think the fence is interesting i think that uh, stone hedge type faces are interesting i would have, um, maybe change the angle a little bit so that you get rid of that fence fences to me is is not all that exciting and by moving to the left uh, you would have had the remnants of the fence, but you would have been able to see more of those mountain that mountain over there. Uh, need, need a little different point of view than that photo. Next, please. 
The next one is titled Showtime. Well, it doesn't have the action of some of the other audio pictures, so uh, it'd be one thing if she, to, 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 that she's going out there. The other would be when they're out there and they're carrying the flag, it's a lot more dramatic than that picture. I would have tried to get something more dramatic than um, than, than this photo because there's a lot, of, a lot going on in the rodeo that um, you want to uh, have a, a bit more action going on. Next, please. The next one is Trouble in the Heartland. <laughs> uh, I think one of our congressional wives should have, maybe this is a house she used to live in. Maybe they still live in that one. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, especially the dog um, watching out for the flag. Uh, and then it looks like there's some smoke coming out of the, out of the uh, front porch or something. Uh, oh, it, 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 it says something about what's happening in the United States right now. Uh, I think it's well, well executed. I, whoever shot the picture, I think... Uh, made a good statement. Next, please. Okay, next one is Uncle Sam. What can you say about Uncle? You know, just happy go lucky guy, working the crowd. Yeah. Not much else to say except it's a good photo of him and doing his thing. Next, please. Next one is titled. Utah. Utah. I would have cropped it probably. I like cropping. I like tight stuff. So I would have gotten rid of it uh, on the right and a little bit on the left just to zoom. I would just get nice and tight on the thing because um, you have enough rocks on the right side going up the hill. You got some of the mountain area. I, I would leave some of the um, uh, on the left side to where that um, uh, that sagebrush comes down and there's a little path there I would have probably kept uh, some part of that and then crop it on the right next please next one is West Winds hmm Looks like a sad place to be, that's for sure. It says something, and especially to have a new flag hanging there and the, and the jalopy Jeep or truck, whatever that was. Yeah, it's, um, I, I, I'm sort of, um, I'm not amused by it, but I think it's an interesting photo. Uh, it would have been interesting to maybe get a little different angle on it, see a little more of inside that store or whatever it is. But it's a good photo. I like it. Next. All right. Well, uh, let's see here. That is the last one. So. Uh, third, I have learning to be a cowboy. Okay. Uh, can you see? Can you see it, the big screen with it now? No, I, I see. Oh. Yeah, it's not the small ones. No, I, I got it. And no, the second we're, one. We're seeing the thumbnails. We're seeing the thumbnails, Mike. Yeah, that's fine. Well, my reading glasses on. 
Okay, well, we'll just have to look at the thumbnail because I don't, you know, it's just not going to. Mike, do you have the, the photographer's yeah. name? Yeah, um, uh, the, the photographer's name is uh, Mark McElhaney. All right. Okay, so we're ready for number two. Mark, do you have any comments about it? Uh, no comments. Uh, it was the last time I went to Shady Dale Rodeo, which has been a couple of years now, or, or actually more than that. So um, just one of those shots from the rodeo. All right. Second place. Second place is Intent. Okay. Intent is by me. And guess where I took that? Shady Dale Rodeo last year. That one. It was a lot of fun. I'd go again. <laughs> All right. And finally, congratulations, Gerald. Finally, first place. Big West View. I think that's a mic, isn't it? Yep. Uh, that was taken uh, at a ranch in Wyoming. You guys have seen a boatload of shots from that from that photography trip. Uh, that's where uh, we had the our photography group uh, on this tour. It was five days. It was incredible in Wyoming, in the middle of seemingly nowhere. Uh, and we had horse riders and cowboys just uh, riding around, and we just took pictures of them for five who, days. Who was leading it? Uh, it was a Joseph Van Oss uh, photography tour group, which I super high, highly recommend. I've been on many of his tours, went to Antarctica with that group. Do you, do you remember the person who led it? Uh, it well, I, no, there was like five, there was like, like three, there's like five professional photographers. On oh, okay. The leader, but Joseph Van Oss is the owner and uh, he runs fabulous photography tours. Uh, no, it's not cheap, but boy, you get what you pay for. But of all of all the trips I've ever taken, uh, the shots from this particular tour has generated more ribbons than any other location. Yeah, hands down. So uh, thank you very much. I've yeah. got a few some questions. Sure. I, I know they may appear again in another competition, but the judge then won't know. Uh, who's is waiting for a ride in his native land? It's the person watching. That's me. That's more. It is. Yeah. I thought that's a great photo. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Where was it? Uh, it was in uh, New Mexico, uh, yeah. right around Monument Valley. I was, uh, he was just uh, a man waiting for a ride there. And I, yeah. I, was, I was walking around. Now, Mark, this is one of those trips where you get in a car with a camera and a few clothes and hit the road. Yeah, this was my, oh, that one and almost everything on here that I've, I've presented except for the Shady Dale one on this uh, is is from my road trip I did during the pandemic when I got a lot right. of cabin fever and I could not stand it anymore and yeah. just off on a cross-country trip. That one of the road approaching perhaps Monument Valley. Yes. That's you, right? Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was fabulous. Well, you know that, you know what that, that hill is called, right? That's nope. that's Forrest Gump Hill. Um, oh, is it? Well, when Forrest Gump, when he stopped, when he was doing his jogging and all those people were following him and he stopped and decided he was going to quit, that was the view right there. That's that's exactly where it happens. So that's now oh. called Forrest Gump Hill. Oh. So it's what it's worth. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Daryl, what places do we have for color? One, two, three, and honorable mention. Okay, Ron, you got to pick four of them, and I will mention your first one you're going to mention. You're talking about the color now. Right? Color. Yeah, color can you see it? Can you see the tiles? Yeah, I see it. Okay, just pick an I will mention third, second, and first, and start with HM. HM will be... Um, uh, let's see, I need four, so that's one, two, time. two three... Or, uh, Uncle Sam, number four. Oh, he's going to appreciate you. Hmm? Uncle Sam. Is that, that your honorable mention choice? All right. Who's the pho photographer? Photographer is, uh, oh, we're, oh, let me, yeah, photographer is going to be, uh, I believe, I know who it is. It's going to be Steve Director. I figured. I figured. And it is, is, Uncle Sam in the air? 
Is he off the? Is he off the ground? No, he's walking. No, no he just looked to me like he was had. No, he's walking. Space between him and the ground. No, he's on a chemical stimulant. I will tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, guys. Hopefully, it's legal. Uh, on okay. the third. Okay, third place. Uh, a re a remembrance in in remembrance. Yeah, uh, that's this one here, and that's by uh, uh, that's by Robert Hatch. Awesome. All right. Not here, but we'll tell it. Yeah, he'd be happy with that one. I think it's his first ribbon, maybe. No, I don't think so. All righty, second place, Ron. Second place will be um, Dusk Round. Round, dusk round, round. Up to me. Yeah, it's really Dusk Round Up. Yeah, I didn't think that kind yeah. of. Well, uh, that's me. And guess what? It's from the same trip <laughs> in Wyoming. Mike, so, we're not gonna allow you to go to Wyoming anymore. And so the horse riders just rode across, you know, and just did the lasso, and they did a variety of other things, both women and men horse riders, and it's one of the best five day trips I ever had in my life. It was fabulous. So also went on a trip like that in the winter. So it was it was just really fabulous. All right. Anyway, um, uh, and then are we? I guess we're the second place. No, nope. first. First, okay, got it. We're on first place now, right? Yes. First base, first base brass duet. Oh, I knew it. That one was it. That's Mr. Ken Anderson. He's pulling the ribbons recently. That was Ken mine. Was yeah, tell us, Ken. That That is, in fact, New Orleans. Yep. Uh, sitting at the Cafe du Monde. Uh-huh. And, and, you know, <laughs> as the name implies, the world goes by. And uh, it, it was just a, a great trip. And it was actually... Uh, a, a road trip not entirely uh, different from the one before went all the way out to uh, Big Bend had a bit of cabin fever but anyway, as you folks can as you folks can probably tell I'm a people person photographer so yeah yeah so it's when was brass where when was it Ken that was uh, just over a year ago yeah so you're sitting at a table outside Cafe Du Monde watching the world go by yep <laughs> it is just a great picture. When it came in, I took a look at all of them, and I said, that is going to get first place. Yeah, last uh, competition, Ken uh, did extremely well. I think he got first and second ribbons. In. I do have a question. Who's got trouble in the heartland? Uh, that's, that's me, uh, Daryl, on the same trip. Um, uh, that was done with an uh, iPhone. Uh, yeah, I, I could tell. Yeah, I was the resolution's I mean, a little. Yeah, low. yeah. Well, it was resolution was bad, and I was doing it in a hurry because I, yeah, I was traveling through Kansas. And I saw that house, and I backed up, and uh -huh. the dog started barking, and yeah, I knew the owner was probably armed, and there's just a lot of hostility pouring out of that house. So I took a quick picture and left. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. yeah, you probably Mark, you probably know this already. I mean, you have a very good eye and very good. Uh, post processing skill sets. I, this shot would have been more more effective uh, in a more of a, a a worn out color or different, uh, maybe a slight sepia tone, just keeping the this flag. Yeah, you could do that. Well, well I don't know though. The I don't think the color I, I, the color of the flag against the drabness of everything else. Yeah, but I would just I would have kept the flag a little bit the colorful but less colorful in the background. Yeah, I would have yeah. kind of made it look more worn out in terms of lack of color. Yeah. Pull Mark, the flag out of the picture, but that's my Mark, opinion. did it have a mailbox that said Alito on it? <laughs> that's good. I couldn't resist. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and Daryl, I really liked your Miss Rodeo picture. I thought that was screaming America more than any other shot. Just screamed well, America. Well, thank you. That was at Shady Dale, too. Yeah, in terms of the and theme, that West really Winds, is that more, Mark? Yeah. No. no that, 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 that was actually me, Ken Anderson. Was it? Yep, that was on that same trip. That's on... Um, just along Route 66 this is your in uh, your Texas Big Panhandle. Ben? Big Ben? Well, that was actually Texas Panhandle, Route 66. Yeah, yeah. You well, know, I don't it, know. It's, it's, isn't Big Ben is kind of southwest Texas? Well, yeah, Big Ben right? is like all the way out west, the southwest oh, okay. corner. Jim Harrison's been to Big Ben and raves about it. I, I think it's very interesting that we throw out a theme called America 
and more than half of the photos are cowboys in the West. And of course, America's a whole lot more than that, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> that's that's what comes to mind, right? Well, uh, I, I had the same thought. You, you want to have a, yeah, you, you, for me at least, my personal view is you want to have a photograph and anyone in the world will look at that and say, that's America. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, it can't be ambiguous. That's why I like Miss Rodeo so much because it just screams you, America more than any other shot. Uh, in other words, you know it's from America. It's nowhere else. It's not yeah. from a, South America. It's not from Asia or Europe. It's America. And that's why I, that Miss Rodeo picture, Daryl, took really yeah. pops for me. Because it really, it, it, yeah. what I like about that shot, Daryl, not only with the flag, and the flag is worn out. I noticed that. It's not like perfect. Yeah. But she is just so happy, so go lucky. And that's very typical oh, yeah. of foreigners, you Americans. Yeah. So I really love that shot. But anyway. Tell a photo, it nailed her. Yeah. Anyway. If we, of, if we go again, I can't remember what time of year.